What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I've got an unboxing review of the brand new Air Jordan 8 Championship Trophy. Uh, to be honest, this video is really the only thing keeping me from playing Pokemon Go right now. I haven't stopped playing for a couple hours, so it's probably a good thing. But uh, I'm just going to try and roll right through this and get back to it. So before I get started with the review, a little story about how I got this pair. Sneakers and Stuff did an early release, the Thursday before they actually dropped in the US. It was cool because not many people knew about it, so it was really easy to grab my pair. The only problem was is that I just got these in today. <laughs> and it's what? It's probably like a week, two weeks since these came out? It's been a while. Nike's usually like four days, but shipping from Stockholm, Sweden is, is a lot longer. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the review. So the championship collection is a two-shoe pack, and I only got one of the two pairs. So I got the white pair instead of the black pair, because the black pair just, I didn't like the confetti on the back of it. I liked everything else about the shoe, but just not a fan of the confetti. And if I'm dropping 250 bucks on a pair of shoes, I gotta like the pair of shoes. Continuing on with the box, you've got the white and the black to match the white and the black pairs. You've got the Roman numeral rolls for eight in gold, which is really cool. This mic, man, it's just not wanting to stay on today. I don't understand it. You've also got this white pull ring thing right there that's on the Air Jordan 11s. What's funny though is that this isn't actually a pullout box, so I'm wondering why they put that in. It's actually just like a regular shoe box. And of course, you've got the size tag. I got a size nine. And the suggested retail for this pair of shoes is 250 bucks. There's a pincer close by. Uh-oh. I really, I gotta turn this phone off. This is getting ridiculous. So before you actually get to see the shoes, you get this nice hit of gold on the inside of the box. And then on the paper, you've got gold Roman numerals, which is really nice. And finally, the bottom of the box is lined with cork with another Roman numeral 8 printed on it. Now, finally into the shoes. I'm sure you already know, but every one of the championship 8s comes with a little bag of confetti, which I guess is a nice touch. It kind of doesn't match anything on the shoe, but... It is what it is. The shoe itself is primarily an off-white. You've got this really nice nubuck on the toe cap and that sort of continues on throughout the rest of the shoe until you hit the back. Of course, you've got the standard Air Jordan 8 straps with the stitched in 23. You've also got this sort of translucent like leather plastic material. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it gets this sort of like pearlescent look. That material continues onto the heel and makes up the entire back of the shoe. What it seems for most people is these little hits of gold are actually their main selling point, and they are really nice, but the plastic they used, I mean, is standard Air Jordan 8 plastic, so it's not great, and it kind of feels cheap, especially on these locks up here. But from a distance, I mean, it looks really nice, so I guess I can't really complain. Something cool about these hits of gold is that they have Michael Jordan's fingerprint on them, and they're supposed to represent the fingerprints that he left on the championship trophy. On the tongue, you've got the Air Jordan Jumpman in this patch. The patch is different than the normal Air Jordan 8s. It's not that sort of furry patch that's usually on there. It's actually this stitched, like, emblem thing that goes around this gold, sort of plasticky, leathery Jumpman. Moving down to the midsole, you've got this sort of off-white, like, light gray midsole. And it's got these little hits of silver with these tiny little sparkles. They've been adding the sparkles on the new Air Jordan 8 retros, and that's because the original Air Jordan 8s had the sparkles. Um, some people like them, some people don't. On this shoe, it doesn't really matter, you don't really notice them. I don't think it really adds or detracts from the shoe at all. Moving to the outsole, you've got this sort of milky white outsole with these gold speckles in it. It's similar to what Jordan Brand did on the OVO 10s. It's actually very similar, um, except the outsole isn't as translucent as the OVO 10s. Of course, you got the gold Jumpman on the toe, and then another hit of gold right here with more of Michael Jordan's fingerprints. The sock liner of the shoe is more off-white, and then the insole itself is actually gold with white fingerprints and a white jump in. Overall, this is a really clean shoe. I'm really stoked to rock these, so let's throw these on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna head back to Pokemon Go. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you wanna see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs and all other forms of social media.